Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Loretta McNary Show. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to your host, Loretta McNary. show and this is one of my favorite shows to do because you know I love music and everybody thinks that I cannot sing because I don't but I'm just gonna leave it there I know somebody who can sing Tony Green give it up thank you thank you one of these days Tony I'm gonna get up there with you girl come on when you're doing the overseas show though not the local ones because they're not ready for me okay okay <laughs> I'll look for you you're more than welcome really yeah even without hearing me sing yeah Okay, you said on TV, so I will be touring with the fabulous Tony Green. We're going to go to London and Paris and everywhere and sing. So how did you get started? Well, I started at about eight years old. Eight years old. Actually, probably earlier with my father. Mm -hmm. He was a jazz musician, so I got started with him and listening to all the great ones, you know. So. Was it jazz or gospel music for you? Jazz. It was jazz. jazz. Eight years old, singing jazz. Yes. You remember your first performance? Yes. You remember what you were singing? <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> oh, you're laughing. Was it good or bad? It was good. It was what? pretty good. What was it? Because my dad, my dad actually took me to a bar. At eight? At eight. Okay. He actually did. Back then, you know, you can get away with some stuff. Yeah. And, uh, of course, he owned the pool shop there. Okay. So he sat me on top of the bar, and uh, the song that we sang was uh, by Nat King Cole. Wow. Oh. Now, I, and I was thinking that was it a Nat King Cole song because I was thinking Natalie Cole and her dad mm -hmm. and then yeah. you and your dad singing jazz so that's what came to my mind mm -hmm. so what was the next have you ever gotten on stage and I'm kind of going forward faster and forgot the words mm -hmm. I always ask people that have <laughs> you ever forgotten time. your words <laughs> don't let my band tell you they'll but. tell us <laughs> but nobody's supposed to know but you because you, you you can sing it like you want to yeah so do do you tell people artists that want to say oh how do you do this do you tell them to all we don't know unless you tell us that you messed up well everything is so you know fluent mm -hmm. you know it's impromptu and we just flow into it you, you know? just flow into yeah. it and cover it up yeah <laughs> <laughs> do you prefer jazz over r&b or gospel or do you have a preference actually a mixture of everything a mixture a mixture yeah, yeah. who are the people that um, they compare you to a little bit of um Probably Shaka Khan, Aretha Franklin. Everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Patty, everybody. How about Mary J? Love her. Uh, mm -hmm. Me too. She's yeah. like my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. The energy. I love her energy. She's good. So who has who have you performed with that has been like so amazing? You said, I can't believe I'm performing with them. Or who do you like to perform with? The artists that I would love. All of them. Probably. All of them. Everybody. I, I really don't because I like everything. I, yeah. I mean, I even like country. I do too. You I'm know, a Kix so 106. I, I mean, girl. I'm looking at C, at the CMA Awards, yeah. you know, the other night, and I'm like going crazy because I just like music. That is so awesome. So I don't get stuck into one thing. You so know? you like Brad Paisley? Did you think oh, he was going to win? I love Brad, and of course, my girl. You know. Yeah. So Miranda. I, no, Miranda. I'm glad she did win. Yeah. As a new artist. Uh huh. But I really Carrie. Did. Yes. I'm, oh, everybody loves Carrie Underwood, right? Nobody does. I do. I love her. I love Carrie Underwood. Yeah. I can listen to her all day yeah. long, all day long. And I like some others, but I don't know their names. But my son Spencer has to tell me because I know what I like, but I can't tell you anybody who's singing Sugar it. Sugarland. Sugarland. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. Kenny Chesney. Yeah. Okay, we're okay, gonna okay, Taylor okay, Swift. Okay, okay. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> okay, let's talk about you because you're gonna sing for us a couple of songs. So I know everybody's probably don't want me to talk to you they want to hear you sing but I want to hear your story I want to hear about how amazing and some of the things that were not so amazing well let's start with the not so amazing. not so amazing yeah because people uh, see the glamour and they yeah. I want to be Tony the the real truth of music is it's just like um Rosalind McMillan was talking about it's mm -hmm. the real thing it's it's talking talking and singing and writing it's all together mm -hmm. and what you do is you have to li you live your story basically and I choose the songs that really are part of my life uh, it's been hard in this business because they don't really accept women as they should mm. 
in the blues still? sector. You guys oh, still have a yeah. more tougher time getting booked and act actually we really do. We really do. Wow. And uh, the monies are not always there for us. And is it a not genre there. or is it a race or is it just women, female in particular, that have a more tougher time? It's uh, a little bit of it all. Okay. But being down in the dirty south, let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about the dirty the south. The dirty south really does not give you the props that the north or maybe somewhere else, California, right. New York or whatever, might give you or pay you the kind of money that someone has been on a job for 20, 30 years mm -hmm. that they should be getting they still keep you at your same rate. And that's the problem. Okay. And you don't get the respectability. Now, I know a lot of folks probably don't like me saying it. But, but it's, it's true, it's right? Truth. So that's why you travel overseas, because they love you over there, as opposed to being we, here a lot? We've always been accepted in Europe. Okay. Quite, you know, I mean, it's been that way for centuries mm -hmm. that we've been accepted. But we would like for, you know, America the United States to accept us too. Well, we got to say that's uh, coming. That, that's, I don't know what's it going to take. I think it's a job in the works, and I think yeah. it's happening. I think it's slowly happening. But what we have to do, first of all, is to respect ourselves. Definitely. Yeah, we must do that as it, women. Does it have anything to do with professionalism or taking it serious? Because I know corporately at first it was that men you know they're always there they didn't talk about you know family problems they did their job and they were just die hard and women are more emotional so they is it gender that is it based on that or I'm just trying to figure out why because you guys are so talented you ladies are so talented well I think it does have a little bit of, to do with that okay uh, well let me take that back a whole lot to do with that mm -hmm. because you know being a female, black or white, mm -hmm. but I'm black, so let me talk about my blackness. Yeah. You know, it's really hard. We don't get accepted, and we don't get respected, you know. Because mm. I know there are tons of movies about that, too, where the superstars had to go overseas and become mm -hmm. really famous and yeah. go through some things. And then get lonesome for home and want to come back and eat some greens and cornbread and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's not even better, so you have to go yeah. back. So I want you to go ahead. What are you going to sing for us this first song? And then we'll talk some more. But I know people are wanting to. Let me hear Tony. I know, especially my mother. I love you, Mom. I, Mom, I love you. I love you. And I have a CD for you. Oh, she's going to give you it's my CD, double, Mother. Yeah. Thanks. It's a double <laughs> CD, and it's uh, it's called my Tony Green's Greatest Hits. Oh, she's going to love it. Because she uh, could name them. I'm serious. She could name them. So what are you going to sing for us? We're going to do uh, a few things. Uh, one is say a little prayer. Say a little prayer. Mm -hmm. okay. And the other one is somebody loves you. All right, we're going to take a break, and the next voice you hear will be Miss Tony Green. Thank you. At Methodist Healthcare, be treated well. To learn more about Methodist, visit us on the web at methodisthealth.org. Hey, this is Gary Faulkner again of Coming Street Baptist Church, and once again, I'm really not caught up in the material aspect of our ministry. I'm thankful for what God has done, but more so, I want to try to get the Word of God in your hearts. I remember what happened to the, the Apostle John in Revelation chapter 1 verse 10. He was out on the Isle of Patmos. The Bible says, although he was alone, he was yet in the Spirit on the Lord's day. So you don't merely want a church that you can come to, you want a church that'll go home with you.
moment I wake up Before I put on my makeup, makeup. I say a little prayer for you While combing my hair now And wondering what dress to wear now I say a little prayer for you For the best deal, while running up the busting, I say a little prayer for you. Well, 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 at work I just take time, and all through my coffee break time, I say a little prayer for you. song I'm going to dedicate to Loretta's mother and to some of you out there who've been going through some changes and, and you just need somebody to just love you for who you are. You know who you are. Or you might know somebody who's going through Maybe somebody's got cancer, somebody's fallen off. No, no. Somebody loves you, baby. Say. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody loves you, baby. Ooh. One more time. Somebody loves you, baby. Do y'all feel? Somebody, somebody, wait your hand. Somebody loves you, 
happen so suddenly I woke up one morning with you on my mind no matter Make a slave out of me. I will show you. Do you know somebody? 